Did it just do the nene? Oh my god, it just did the nene. Holy crap, this is way better than Tower Balls. Holy crap, Planet Earth has fell like as a content creator. Okay guys, welcome to Tower Balls. Today we have the uh, DJ Tower. I'm just joking. This is Tower Defense Simulator and now it has its own DJ uh, now. It's called the DJ Booth instead of the DJ Tower. And uh, it's pretty much going to be the exact same crap compared to the one in Tower Balls. Those are a pretty nice range. I'm going to place it down. But the thing is that... This one has some nice animations thrown into it, and you can also enter in your own music. I'm gonna put in Zero Two music, B or B. Ah, and just like Tower Balls, it requires a radio game pass thingy, so they're both uh, pretty greedy on that part, but uh, I can't afford that. It's just I don't feel like taking out Ro uh, Robux to afford that, but yes, uh, you can play custom music, but there is just default music, and uh, it's not as cool as Tower Balls, but hey, at least it is copyright free. At uh, level zero, it, it just slides his hand in this weird disc thing and like slams his hand down in this uh, stupid soundboard thing so like people use it to be cool or some crap like that. Uh, just like in Tower Balls, the Golden Commando is pretty OP paired up with the uh, Commander and also the uh, DJ Tower. And like it's pretty much like the same crap in Tower Balls. This feels like Tower Balls except like this game just looks better and feels better. That's how I think about it. But uh, that, yeah, that is actually pretty cool. But uh, by the way, Golden Towers did get buffed in this game. They do like the same crap like in Tower Balls. They actually do more damage. Uh, they're not just skins. They they actually do more damage, which is pretty cool. So just like in Tower Balls, it's pretty much spawn killing at this point. And uh, it sounds like a Gatling gun. I think in Tower Balls, it can't spawn kill this. Well, I'm not really too sure, but the thing is that in Tower Balls, the, the commando costs us a lot more while in this game. I think it is cheaper. I'm not too sure on that. Yeah, Golden Minigunner and Tower Defense Simulator is just as overpowered as in Tower Balls. Except I think, I think it might be a bit more OP in this game compared to Tower Balls. So here is the level zero DJ. He plays a little soundboard and moves his CD thing. He uh, plays a little animation thing. And then, uh, oh yeah, I tried putting in the uh, zero two ID sound, but but didn't work because I need to pay for that. But uh, I'm gonna upgrade it. Now it gets plus two range, and the next one will be plus two range and twenty percent range buff. And now it has a lot a laptop. It just slams its hand down on a laptop. So let's go ahead and upgrade it to level two. It is now level two, and that's how it looks. Like. It has cooler shades, I guess. Yeah, that's generally about it. Okay, now it's gonna get a plus two range and a ten percent discount buff just like the one in tower ball so now so now our our upgrades as you can see just like a little money sign is now 10 percent cheaper i want to and upgrade it again to the 35 percent range buff and it's gonna upgrade a 20 percent discount buff as well i believe that has the same value in tower balls as well so that's pretty neat and uh the range also gets maxed out as well uh well um the uh, range buff so when i put down a john tower right here it's uh, going to be a lot more bigger than normal, and John is usually covering, all, like, it's, I think I think my tower, like, covered this much, and then it's going to max it out. Uh, that is, not, like, oh my god, that is actually really huge. Oh my, okay, my, I'm, the, the okay, I'm going to max the DJ tower out now, and it is fully upgraded with 55% range buff, and also 20% discount buff as well. So this is really great to uh, do farms with, if you put farms right next to it, uh, just like in tower balls. And look at the DJ now. It's doing what? What kind of? Oh, did it just do the nene? Did it just do the nene? Oh my god! It just did the nene. Holy crap! This is way better than Tower Balls. Holy crap! Planet Earth has fell like as a content creator. This is whoa, man! It's doing the nene. It's doing the nene. Holy man! Planet Earth's game is garbage. Just hot fire garbage compared to this game. And uh, now look at the range of John. I want to max it out. And look at the range of John. Look at that range. That covers almost the entire map. That is really, really stupidly overpowered, man. That's just god tier. Holy crap. And now we're pretty much spawn killing because uh, we also have a commander there. And commander and also John. I mean, uh, commander, DJ, and John. You're going to have the ultimate combo right there. I'm like... The fire rate is so high, and then the John damage buff is just gonna make it super OP, and uh, and that, and also the range, the range of it, and towers like the turret are gonna have a huge uh, advantage. So uh, this is pretty OP. I don't think they test it because uh, we, uh, this is worse than tower balls as in terms of overpoweredness. Because I think in tower balls you couldn't be this OP at this wave, but uh, but uh, here we are, I guess, with the max. Minigunners 
uh, and Max Golem, and Max Golem mini gunners, and also Max Johns as well. So in case they break through for any reason, we can just do the damage buff, and we're a okay. Cool. I'm gonna max out my farms, and thanks to the uh, discount, I'm gonna get them a lot more cheaper than usual. So that's pretty neat. God, this feels a lot like tower balls now. Now with the DJ tower, it feels a lot like tower balls. I, I like that a lot. I like this feeling, bro. It feels nice. And there's a bunch of Humvees. So another uh, useful use for the DJ because of the cash reduction, just like in tower balls, I would place a DJ next to the farms or place the farms next to the DJs. And when I would max out the DJ, uh, I would then begin to max out my farms as well. So the next round, I'm going to go and get uh, my DJ maxed out. There we go. Now we have a 20% uh, discount. Uh, it just uh, kind of sucks because the range in it is actually not as big compared to tower balls. Tower balls would have been way more bigger. I'm going to see what happens if you put two DJs next to each other. I'm going to go ahead and sell a farm. I'm going to put another DJ right here. Why? I, I just sold a farm. Let me... It says you cannot place that more in 20 years, but... What? How? I, I sold three farms. Okay, I sold three farms. Okay, this thing's a glitch. It's glitching. Okay. No, I see the problem. You can only place down one DJ tower. You cannot place down two DJ towers, which makes sense, I guess. So it wouldn't be too OP. But in tower walls, you would actually uh, be able to place down two DJ towers. I think that the range of the DJ should be buffed since you're only downsized to only one DJ. So they should definitely look into that of uh, buffing the DJ range on it. But uh, yeah, now I got a 20% cash reduction, the green thingy. And uh, now we can farm pretty nicely because of that great, great cash reduction. 10% discount buff for level uh, 3. Upgrade that. And there you go. Has little neon thingies. Some cool red things. And then the level 4 would be 20% to 35% range buff for the towers. And uh, we're going to be seeing that with the Rocketer Tower. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade this. So the Rocketer would be like right, right here. But with, with the 35%, let's see how far. Oh, it didn't even go that much higher. Okay, let's go and see how much the max one does. Yeah, 55% range buff. And the level 4? That looks pretty cool, I guess. Has like a little, like, like a little soundboard thing. Just does a little uh, rave thing. But the next one does something really cool. It does the... Uh, yeah, it does the whip. It's not, it's not called a nanny. I, I, uh, my bad. It's not called a nanny. It's called the whip. But yeah, it's pretty gamer. And the Rocketer uh, goes a bit more further out. Now, I want to max out the Rocketer. And look at the range of the rocker. It literally almost covers the entire map. It only stops right here where the Golden Scouts are at, which is pretty, pretty OP. And then the John Tower is also going to become pretty OP as well because of the range buff as well. Although the John Tower would be better suited, like, way more over here. The only downside of the DJ is that it's kind of small range. But uh, at least it's better than a commander. I'm actually going to place down a commander right here somewhere if I can't fit one. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so the commander has huge, huge range. I'm gonna max out the commander and look how much bigger the range got. Like the commander literally reaches all the way over here, and with the discount as well, helping me out. And uh, now the towers are super OP because uh, I think it increases the fire rate of towers. Yeah, it does increase the fire rate of towers, and the commander will also do the same. And then with the John Tower giving him damage buff, you're pretty much uh, unstoppable with that with, with that combo. Maximum DJ also grants 1.5k dollars per wave. That's actually pretty good stuff. So when you max it out, the pot, the tower will eventually pay yourself off and then event, uh, eventually give you free money pretty much. I, I wonder if it says like 1.5k after each wave. Here, let's find, let's find out. No, it doesn't. What? Okay, buddy. So like so far, we're just spawn killing thanks to the DJ and also commander. I don't think these guys have a commander, but uh, oh wait. I could place out commander help all these golden scouts, but it doesn't really matter because I'm like one commander does a job, and yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys didn't know my voice is in the commander, but you can't really hear because I'm because uh, the amount of gun sounds going on is a lot more louder than my voice screaming in the game. So I mean, like we just pretty much spawn kill now a lot more easier because uh, I remember struggling before. And now I'm like, oops, sorry for the mic thing, but now we just uh, spawn kill more easier. DJ commander and. Just in case, John, like, you don't really need to worry about much as long as you guys spam golden commandos and, yeah, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, I think this, I'll, I'll be honest, guys, I think this tower is really OP. I don't think they test it correctly because, like, in tower walls, you, you wouldn't become a god with this simple tower versus in here, you become a god with this simple tower combined with commander. And even in tower walls, if you have commander and uh, DJ, it still wouldn't be OP. 
Versus in this game, it's it's like super OP. It's like god tier OP. I still have my farms, by the way, so uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, by the way, Outlaws become really OP because of how fast they can fire. I wonder what happens if I call a call to arms. Well, I'm only gonna wait until like zombies pushing like right here, cause then that's where, cause that's where we're gonna start struggling. Look at the range of the turrets, like the like the max level turrets. They're they're shooting across the map. That's how OP the uh, DJ is. It it gives them that much of a range boost. Cool guys, I lost connection again. Uh, thank you, Roblox. I was recording halfway into the game, and yay, this is what I get for. Uh, you know, doing good deeds.